24 marbles looking to pass through Steve Town, but the Steves shall decide who lives and who dies. Lighting up in the three lanes into the temple towers, trying to get themselves into the narrowers on the bounce pads of ignorance. Thorman rockets off into the tube, misses the tube, and dies. <laughs> Jake, also missing the tube. Gonna have to go back and try again. Final Ross Battle bounces off of the tube. And might cheat into the exits. No. Has to go back through again. Bush tangy, nothing. Jake, Go Teach has made it down into the glass. So Go Teach taking it slow and steady right now as they work their way through the glass, trying to get themselves down to the bottom. It looks like Go Teach has found the line through the wood into the studded rotating vortex opener with Jeff is a geek right behind. And it looks like Go Teach and Jeff is a geek blasting off into the butterfly. But it looks like Go Teach has been denied, and so is Jeff is a geek. Be careful with the butterfly, ladies and gentlemen. That could kill you by launching you backwards out of the studded rotating vortex orbiter and into a ramp shot. Kill quick, though, goes straight through the butterfly that goes not even there into the Steve Bridge. Let's keep an eye on the butterfly right now. Looks like Jeff is a geek gets denied once again. Go Teach coming in for a second attempt. Miss Waffles coming up from behind in third place. Now second place straight into the butterfly. Oh, having some trouble as they continue to get battered, but it looks like they are through. Go Teach tonight. A second time. Jeff is a geek going in for a third time now, and they're going to be denied yet again. And they just can't catch a break here. There goes Haka trying to get through, and Haka just gets launched right back out. Dougie trying to get through as well, but let's go back to the leader, which is Gilquick, who's already across the Steve Bridge and down into the Coliseum. Gilquick trying to get across the Coliseum into the first blaze right now. Ms. Waffles struggling with that Steve Bridge, as is Mushtangy. Going back a little bit further, Jess the Geek and Go Teach still being denied by the Butterfly. As Jenny Sanders tries to get around on that outside edge, Foreman, Hoggett, Spoonry, and the Glorious Mustache, and still having no success, and still Marvel's not even out of the start piece, but it is going to be Kill Quick, who has, oh no, Kill Quick has been claimed by the Coliseum, forever trapped in its dungeons, and there they shall wait until destroyed as sacrifice to the Great Wall. Mushtangy now trying to pass the Coliseum. Will the Coliseum allow Mushtangy safe passage, or will they claim yet another marble into the dungeons? And here we see the triple floating Steve. Very spooky and ominous, as it should be. Ms. Wobbles now joining in, trying to find a way into the Coliseum, but the Coliseum says no, so Mushtangy now must go back into the front. Oh, they've missed the opening again! The Coliseum continuing to put up a fight. Oh, Mushtangy be out, uh, out to the Coliseum, or will the Coliseum claim another victim into the... It looks like it's going to be Mushtangy going straight through with that beautiful eat ball with the purple halo. Taking it slowly steady as I go down the skinny rail, making sure not to fall off the edge. Kill quick. Gonna have to wait in the dungeon to be sacrificed. But now we're into the worm pit. Oh my goodness. Mushtangy gets launched out of the worm pit. Does not want to be digested, but is going to die nonetheless. And Ms. Waffles is now all alone in first place. Bone Tree getting rocketed back, but thankfully collides with Janice Tannis to avoid eliminating. Oh, Jan Tannis as the lady rockets up out of the studded rotating vortex opener, but catches themselves at the top of the studded rotating vortex opener. And they're gonna be going right back in again. As they try to fight death. Ms. Waffles still stuck at the Coliseum. Jeff is a geek finally through on the 2000th. And Cybernetic Kraken has launched himself straight into the wind bin. Bounces off of the... Did you see that miracle shot by Cybernetic Kraken? Absolutely phenomenal performance. Trying to go for the global record by over two minutes. But unfortunately just could not hold it together with their accuracy. They're clipped off the top of the wind bin. And the butterfly has struck again. Domini tries to get through on the triple Steve to try to catch up with Miss Waffles, who's still having trouble with the Coliseum. But here we go. Kill quick. Still stuck in the dungeon. Miss Waffles still stuck at the entrance to the Coliseum. Domini is battling with the three-bladed Steve as Jeff is a geek struggles with the Steve Bridge. Not able to get any progress. The mustache back in the butterfly. Trying to get through, but getting launched back again. And looks like Yoda and Jake have still not found their way out of the starting piece. Miss Waffles finally making progress here at the second door of the Coliseum, looking to get out and not be claimed into the dungeon. But they have to beware of the fates that are ahead of them on this track. Domini is finally getting through now into the Coliseum, trying to catch up with Miss Waffles, who was up until this point completely alone. Four minutes have elapsed on this ridiculous map, and this is actually the most fun I've had commentating in a long time. We're going to have to do this every fucking day for the rest of our lives. Miss Waffles coming here on the right-hand side. No gets denied, and they're going to have to go back in and try again. Domini steps up to the plate. Will Dominize be the chosen one by the Coliseum. Miss Wobbles gets flicked again. Dominize pushes through. No, Miss Wobbles back on the right hand side. No, back to the left hand side. Dominize swings back on the left hand side. Miss Wobbles on the right hand side. And Miss Wobbles has pushed through, getting past Kill Quick. And now Miss Wobbles takes on the Pit of Worms. 
Ms. Waffles, once again, slow and steady like the ones that came before them to get a perfect line across this pit of worms. But will they? Oh, they've jumped over the first pit. Oh, into the second pit, though, getting pushed to the left-hand side. And Ms. Waffles, fearing for their lives, just leaps off the side. Would rather die than be digested. But Dominize puts up a tremendous fight as they come up on the right-hand side, pushes through the worms like they're nothing, and goes right down into the stretch. Oh, high on the right-hand edge of the sleety rail, but Dominize is going to continue to go down into the final section, the Labyrinth of Terror. Dominize must find their way through the Labyrinth of Terror without being eliminated by the water wheels at the end. Already past the first line, past the second line, into the third line, and now they're in the heart of the labyrinth and anything goes. Will Dominize choose to stay on the single line or will they choose to go into one of the side rooms? Looks like they're staying in the center line right now, just wants to keep it straight in two. Oh, but they're getting bashed by the walls as they continue to hurl around, but Dominize is using every trick in the book, their dexterity beyond measure, and continuing to push themselves through this labyrinth like it is absolutely nothing. But no, they have been rejected by the labyrinth, thrown out of it into the abyss. And they will be fertilizer for the cornrows. Valindris now trying to get across the Steve Bridge. And they do. That's right. We're already back to the star of Steve Bridge. That's where the next live marble resides. A mustache and Valindris working together. The teamsmanship might be the camaraderie needed to take on these dastardly obstacles and survive them to the end. But what will happen until they get there? We have no idea. Jeff is a geek trying to get through on that Steve Bridge. Having a real hard time today. Next is going through. Gochich still hasn't gotten past the butterfly. Neither has Janice. Oh no, Gochich! gets rocking in out of the back of the stadium accelerator and has been denied by the butterfly and so they must wait again. Valindris has decided to leave the mustache behind who has fallen to their fate and now Valindris must solo on in their venture alone. Trying to enter the Coliseum but the Coliseum's doors are shut and there they'll have to wait until the golden opportunity and now Vixen across the three Steve Bridges mixed with this feels like it's fucking uh, Olbeck, right? Feels like Olbeck with the Legend of the Hidden Temple. Anyway, Valindris <laughs> gets denied by the Coliseum as Vixen comes up from behind trying to take their place. There was an opening in the Coliseum door, but no one was there. Vixen goes through, but the door slams in their face, and Valindris just rockets through into the opening before it closes and is now up into the second doors looking to exit before they're claimed into the dungeon, hopelessly trapped until sacrificed to the wall of death. Valindris, waiting for the door to open, gets a bad knock by the door there. Vixen's still trying to find a way through, and does, and it looks like Valindris has been denied. Vixen overtakes now into the position, but there's the opening. Valindris fights through again with perfect timing, and with perfect timing twice in a row, Valindris has escaped the Colosseum as they head down the skinny trail into the worm pit. Looking to get through on the right-hand side as they go across the top, goes right off in the middle, pushes off to the right-hand side, but bounces back towards- Oh no, they've been digested by the worms, and Valindris is worm food! buried into the heart of the worms that d quickly dispose of the body at a feverish pace. And now Vixen all alone, waiting for the Coliseum to open so that they may advance to the next section. In the back, we have Janus Tennis and Final Ross Battle, the only two that have survived the butterfly since <laughs> we last left it. And they are now struggling with the Steve Ridge, and they're going to be there for quite some time. But Vixen has advanced into the worm pit, coming to the right-hand side, trying to avoid being swallowed whole by the worms. To oh, no! Vixen's been swallowed, but can they escape? Putting up a fight as they go through? No, they've been digested entirely. And nothing remains of Vixen's corpse as it has been digested by the worms. Now, back to our final two survivors and Kill Quick just hopelessly waiting in the dungeon of the Coliseum. Janice Tannis spinning around on that Steve Bridge trying to find the perfect exit. Seven, eight minutes have elapsed. This is the most fun I've had in a long fucking time. Thank God. Final Ross battle finally gets across on the Steve Bridge as they go down into the Triple Steve looking for an opening through those Steve blades but oh gets pushed back and has to be careful not to clip back into the Steve Bridge. Final Ross battle gonna keep it under control for now but now they have to go against the three Steves again and the three Steves showing no mercy here as they continue to batter him around the circle but it looks like Final Ross battle has finally found an opening executes it straight through and goes down with a beautiful straight line on the right-hand side into the next section, the Coliseum. Janice Tennis still struggling to get across the Steve Bridge. Looks like they're finally in, but no. They're, <laughs> which one are we in right now? I'm so confused. Janice Tennis has no ability to get past the Steve Bridge right now. Uh, we'll photo some Final Ross Battle who is waiting to enter the Coliseum. And the Coliseum doors have opened, so Final Ross Battle has been chosen by the... Oh, almost sneaks through out on the first try, but the door slaps him right in the face and sends him back from whence he came. He goes in for another attempt, looking for another opening in the Coliseum, but the Coliseum again slaps him back from whence he came. And he now must attempt a third time, looking to get into the Coliseum. There's the opening, but he missed this is the opportunity. It looks like he's a little dazed right now. He's seeing stars. <laughs> he's got the perfect marble for this map. Can we, can we all just appreciate this poor marble trying to... <laughs> he's trying so hard. Doesn't know what is going on. Absolutely just out of his element. Does It's like... <laughs> just like, why am I here? 
what is what <laughs> what is this and denied again final Ross battle must go back in to charge the doors of the Coliseum currently trapped in the Coliseum, but thankfully not trapped in the dungeon the doors continuing to slap final Ross battle in the face he's getting more dazed than confused by the minute at this point pretty much punch drunk as Janice Tannis continues to struggle is finally through the Steve bridge but is now trying to take on the triple Steve final Ross battle had an opening but he didn't quite take it so now he's going in again trying to avoid being slapped any more times lest he lose any more of the sense he already does not have and final Ross battle is finally pushed through by the Coliseum found chosen by the Coliseum due to their diligence and efforts and endurance as they go down into the pit of worms a beautiful skip over the first pit into the second pit and looking to get through the third pit and final Ross battles through the end but they have to be careful not to get eliminated right at the end right into the middle they go trying to avoid elimination as they go through on the left hand side and final Ross battle is through the worm pit our first competitor who's gotten this far in the track and final Ross battle is now weaving and bobbing as they make their way down into the labyrinth of terror only one other marble has made it this far before will final Ross battle have what it takes to overcome the labyrinth of terror it's through the first line looks like they're going for the shade oh no they've been impaled into the wall and if that was not a sight you didn't want to see just a hopeless day's face stuck halfway through the wall it's an absolutely a ferocious trait of a fall upon anyone and they might escape but for right now the <laughs> Steve's have claimed them again, turned them into masonry, and oh no, Janice Tannis hits the Steve Idol, and they are going to be hopelessly pushed off to the right-hand side of the worm pit, trying to get back towards the center. Janice Tannis is fighting for their lives, using the Eye of Sauron to guide them, but will the Eye of Sauron overpower the worm pit, or will the worm pit see through the device, and they will get themselves their last meal of the evening? Janice Tannis on the right-hand No, Janice has been swallowed by the worm. She's fighting for her lives, but she's going to be digested if she can't get out in time. No, Janice Tannis has been eliminated and it's gonna be final Ross battle still hopelessly stuck inside the wall will they ever find a way to escape or is this a fate worse than death <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Final Ross Battle has become one with the track. It's it's, it's over. It's it's over. It's just over. Like, 